My sister Mia passed away. It made me very sad. Well, I will really miss her. Mom says heaven isn't bad. I'm Lisa Iannucci from Chesterfield Township. And you're a mom. Yes. And you're an author. Yes. Let's go to this because this is your book, <laughs> My Favorite Star. And it's a very serious book because there's your daughter, Mia, right there. And you took that picture of beautiful Mia. She looks so calm and happy right there. But that was before her third brain surgery. Uh, it was her second craniotomy second. and fourth brain surgery. Fourth brain surgery. Yes, she had two embolizations and two craniotomies. She's so beautiful. Thank you. And she was so calm because you were telling us that she hadn't eaten in 12 hours. Yes. And she's only five months old. But it's a beautiful picture, but it's a, it's a rough reminder because she didn't make it. Right. So tell me about that because you have a, you had, at the time had a five year, you have a five year old son. He's eight now. Yes. Jimmy. <clears throat> yes. You're struggling with losing beautiful Mia, but you also had like a, a double situation because Jimmy, who is five, really bonded with her yes. and he was really struggling. Yes. Just uh, tell me about it. what was that like for you? Because that's really confusing for a parent well it was hard because I mean you can't justify that kind of loss nothing I could say would ever make him say oh all right well I'm glad she's gone because we would never just get there so um, we struggled with how to you know calm him down how to get him to be okay with where she was at and it just wasn't working wasn't working so um, we had to you know like parenting, I mean, you have to change up your styles every now and then until you get to something where it actually works. So we ended up changing it and focusing more on not so much of the loss of her and the fact that she was gone, but that she was in a better place. And it's an amazing idea you had because you were telling me that you would lie in bed at night with Jimmy, mm -hmm. and you would say, "We would." She's she's in heaven. What do you think that's like? What do you think right. she's doing? Yeah. You would prompt him, and mm -hmm. that lifted him lifted him up a bit. Yes. What would he say? Uh, you know, he was, oh, what do you think heaven's like? Or where do you think she's at right now? And, and it would be a lot of, um, well, you know, there's candy there. And, <laughs> you know, everything that a kid enjoys. And, oh, what do you think about this? Do you think that there's snow? Yeah, there's snow. But it's got to be warm, too. Yeah, they got to go to the beach. So we were, I would just throw in all these things. So it turned it not so much into focusing on the doom and gloom of her being gone and, and all the negative emotions I try turning it around into let's focus on positives she's in a good place and I don't want you to go there <laughs> I want you to stay here with me but um, you know let's be happy that she's there and she's happy and you know if we need to find her she's she's up in heaven well where's heaven heaven is our favorite star and so it leading to that and this is your book my favorite star and Jimmy's favorite star is Mia yes at what point did you put the all these different thoughts and parenting ideas during this incredibly rough time together to say I'm gonna write a book about it um, it actually was recently you know years had passed and I had kind of thought about well through my experience you know you turn a blind eye to uh, death and, and things that happen until it actually happens to you uh, I think that happens with a lot of things in life but um, so I just in our journey people would say you know oh we lost a loved one too we lost this person and our child struggled or we lost a pet and our child struggled um, so I wanted to help someone in the same struggle as us to maybe give them the tools that we used that helped and uh, so I was sitting there one night and I said the book's not gonna write itself so I started writing and then I actually hired someone off of Etsy um, and I would submit my terrible terrible sketches and she would turn it into the beautiful pictures I have here and uh, it helped us um, a lot with our coping as well as um, since I've released the book it's helped a lot of others too so heaven isn't just for people your pets will go there too long as Buster wasn't in too much trouble chewing on dad's new shoe there's no TV in heaven just too many things to do Instead, your angel spends that time watching over you. <clears throat> Where is heaven at? Is it very far? Just go outside at night and pick your favorite star. So you're saying you're getting feedback on the book and it's, it's helping people, helping parents deal with their children yes. when there's loss in the family. So flip through a few more pages. 
I, I read it and I didn't want to get too emotional reading it. It's hard not to. And I read it twice and the second go around, you just feel how much joy uh, you're giving that child to think about their you know, sibling who's not there anymore and yeah. kind of lift their spirits so much. What, what, what kind of feedback are you getting on the book? Um, I've had a lot of people, even adults, say, I bought this for my kids, but it helped me too. So that, that was pretty neat. And How then, does that make you feel that you're, that you're still going through this with losing Mia and your other people are saying you helped me? Right. It's, I mean, it's obviously good, but um, it, it, I don't know, puts more of a silver lining on everything that happened. It, it uh, puts the rainbow in our rain, you know, and, and so, I mean it's hard to find any positive out of the death of a child. So to find the positive in it, it's, it's very rewarding. Pretty remarkable. It's on Amazon. Yes. And um, people in different parts of the country yes. are popping up on social media saying, look at this book I found. It was perfect for me and what I'm going through with my kids or I'm going through with my family. Yes. That's pretty remarkable. Thanks. Um, yeah, and then it's in uh, one of the owners of a shop down in uh, Romeo, Michigan, um, Honey Pie Kids. She has um, been stocking the book in store, too, for anyone local that wanted to check it out before, um, you know, purchasing it. Uh, so, yeah, she's been great with it, too. What's one of the biggest things, like, you've taken away or learned or think about now after losing Mia, helping Jimmy? And then writing the book and helping others. What's the what's a big takeaway for you? Um, it's just it's rewarding to help others. Um, I, I enjoy reading the reviews. Has been really big. You know, uh, you never know what people are gonna want, um, so you, you get nervous. And uh, so reading those and knowing that I was able to turn something, you know, my misfortune into another person's fortune is very rewarding and um it's happy and and you know um we still battle our issues with the loss here and there but it it definitely helps us cope and helps a lot of other people cope so you still talk about it with jimmy and even read the book with him mm -hmm. yeah uh <laughs> he uh he's he's been great he was he'll read the book and he'll critique it for me and, <laughs> and he's uh he's been my partner in it the whole time and right. And then um, his dad too, and and just they every day, I, you know, we would I would come home and say, "What do you think? What do you think? What do you think?" And and help me figure out this picture. And you know, I had a lot of friends involved in the process too. And so it was, it was, you know, fun. I mean, we turned it kind of into a fun thing while we were doing it. And then when we actually did get the book in hand, uh, <laughs> I sat down and I'm like, "Jimmy, let's read it." oh the book again you know it was like 1800 times <laughs> later but right. you know he still he'll pull it out and he he loves reading it he likes to see his little person in there and he likes to see mia and uh you pick your favorite star and that's your loved one that you lost yes. tell me tell me real quick about the story about a, a grandparent was lost but your book has helped the grandchild yes um i had a friend of mine um his mom that i have known since I was a kid had actually she posted a review and I reached out to her she said I had a two and a half year old uh, grandson he was really upset he had lost his great grandfather and we couldn't explain to him well where did he go he just disappeared where did what's going on and he had a lot of trouble where did he go where did he go and she said that we picked up your book he went outside picked his favorite star and he's been totally fine ever since and she said, I can't believe that it was able to help him. And, you know, it's just very, very rewarding to hear that kind of stuff. So, Way to go. Thank you. Mom, will I always be sad that Mia's not here? It will get easier with time. I promise you, my dear. For now, when you look at your star up above, know she's watching over you from heaven with love.